game cast. Nier is an action RPG, and so it is a big challenge for uh, Square Enix uh, to work on it. Story-wise, it describes a father as he tries to rescue his daughter from an incurable disease she seems to suffer from. This game does feature quite a big percentage of action elements. Uh, it depends on the situation. In, in most situations, you do have to um, take, uh, you know, turn to some kind of actions to, to be taken. So that part is quite large. But on the other hand, Square Enix has got a very long history and tradition of making good RPG in the in, in the past. So we, we've got the know-how and experience in that in that particular aspect. So that we uh, incorporated a really good and deep story and uh, like a character growth elements in the game. That is the RPG part of Nier. So this is indeed, as you say, that when it, we. we solely talk about action games, the market is saturated in, in, in a way, but um, this game also features quite a sort of very good storyline and also um, quite interesting characters and all that. I mean, there, are, there have been that many uh, action games which feature the, the, these elements as well. So we do believe that there, there is an, an area uh, in the market that this game can be very popular. Um, so, um, like a JRPG, uh, as it were, uh, has experience its own evolution uh, but on the other hand this near has got a very new format that in our opinion would be very appealing to the western market we don't think about any risk involved in a particular region and um, up to now um, Japanese games were expected to, be, to do well in, in Japan and that would have been just quite satisfactory but um, in Nia's case we, we, we are aiming for success equally in three regions Japan, North America and Europe. Let's not forget this is a new challenge and this is a new, new category for, for, for us to lay our hand on so that we, we, we really are trying to find out how successful it's going to be, how well it's going to go down outside Japan. So if it, it does um, turn out to be a success, then we will look at look, um, the possibilities of spin-offs or, or other um, developments in the future. And unlike a Final Fantasy, Nier has got a, really, um, a number of really attractive characters, not, not just Nier himself, but other, other characters as well. So I think there is an ample possibility for a very successful series or spin-offs. Because the, the, the name of the character is a, is, a, is a title as well, so at the, at the moment he is a protagonist, but we haven't got any particular obsession with, with, with Nier being the, the center of the story. At the beginning of the, the project, Nia actually was supposed to be uh, a boy's name. Uh, it was supposed to be a boy, and we don't. To this day, we don't know if it's supposed to be a first name or surname even. And um, and it was it was to start with a provisional name. We were going. To, we, we thought we might have a different name, but we just stuck stuck with it in, in the end. And never never even reviewed. But as as I say, it was supposed to be a boy to start with. But obviously, our story changed. Um, and then he's supposed to be this um, a macho guy now. But um, then we asked uh, our um, colleagues in America and in Europe, how does it sound to you? I mean, does it sound strange? Does it really represent who he is? And he said, well, it, it, it sounds fine to us, they say, so that we, 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 we decided to use the same name. It's fundamentally a single player uh, RPG. Uh, it is a multi platform. There is a much talk about a character called Kane. It's a f female character, but she's, she swears a lot. She's very foul mouthed. Uh, but she's a quite sort of fiery, spiky character. But at, at, at several points, at several stages in, in, in the story, she reveals a sort of feminine and the most soft side of her, which is very attractive, but because it doesn't come very often. プレイヤーの皆さんには体験してほしいなと思ってます。